Welcome to Fathers of the Faith for Covenant Kids, where we look back on the church fathers who raised the ramparts which defend our faith to present day. On this episode, we are going to launch into a new series going over the alphabet in John Cotton's New England Primer. You might remember him because we did an episode of Fathers of the Faith for Covenant Kids on John Cotton a while ago. So, Let's take a closer look. My name is Grant, and joined with me is my beautiful wife, Erica. Hello, everyone. And we have our two younger saplings with us. The oldest is Edward. He's not the oldest, he's the middlest. Well, the oldest of who's with us, but you're right. Out of all three of our saplings, you are the middlest. Say hello to everybody, Edward. Hi, ho, the purio. Our cat's here. All right, and our littlest sapling, Nora. Hello, I'm Katie Von Boer. Just kidding, I'm Nora. <laughs> it rhymes. Mm-hmm. Katie Von Bora, Nora. Katie Von Bora. Just kidding, I'm Nora. <laughs> you that know could what? be your little alter ego, Nora. Yeah. You think that's pretty I'm cool? The ego. The cat is sniffing my feet. It's like a whole other person you pretend to be like. Mm, you guys play pretend mm. all the time. Yeah. Mm. So I that might fit perfectly. Mm-hmm. We also have little Luther, the mascot. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's been with us three times in a row now. That's he, right. He likes record. Oh. Now he just curled up on Nora's lap even further. <laughs> and mine too. It's like he knows we're introducing him. Right. Well, since we're a reformed family, I guess it makes sense that our cat Luther is the mascot of the podcast. What do you guys think? Yeah. Hold on. Can you hear him purring? (laughs) That's Luther, everyone. He's a happy little guy. (laughs) All righty then. So today we said we were going to launch into a new series, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you guys have been learning this alphabet that John Cotton has in his New England primer, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And I think we're up to the letter T, right? Right. So we've learned A through T. And every single letter, there's a little rhyme. And the rhyme has to do with a certain Bible story or a concept that comes from the Bible. And so we thought it'd be really fun to do Fathers of the Faith for Covenant Kid episodes on each one of the letters. And so we're going to do an episode on the letter and we'll tell you guys all the rhyme And I encourage all the parents out there to get on Amazon or wherever you can find the New England Primer. It's a little book. It was really cheap when I found it. And there's a lot of little helpful tools in training your kids in theology and just helpful with memorization and things like that. Yeah, for the parents who are interested, the edition that we have is just called the New England Primer, improved for the more easy attaining the true reading of English, and it's published by Martino Publishing of Manfield Center, Connecticut. Our edition is the 2014 copyright. Yep, it's a reprinting of the original print, actually. So it does still read and look like a really old book, yet it is not. Right. All right, so that was for the parents. So, kids, let's jump into the alphabet. You guys ready? I'm ready. So, Eddie and Nora, what is the rhyme for the letter A? In Adam's fall, we sinned all. In Adam's fall, we sinned all. Nora, what does that mean? It means, like, when Adam sinned, we all became sinners. Right? Yes. Everyone born in his family, mm-hmm. which was everyone, became mm-hmm. a sinner. Right. What else would you say, Eddie? I would say when Adam fell, his rightful rule went down. Mm-hmm. So everyone that was in his DNA, the line of his yeah. descendants, all of those people had to be sinners too because... Because his DNA was sinful, yeah. right? If his DNA was sinful... And it it's and it's in everybody's body. Yeah. Then 
We are all sinners. Everybody then received the curse, right? Yes. All right. Now, Paul taught this perfectly in Romans chapter 5. So, kids, you should go read this again in your own Bible study. Or, parents, you can read this with your kids again at family worship. But, Eddie, could you read for us all Romans chapter 5? Could you just read verse 12 for us, Eddie? Sure. Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men, because all sinned. So right there, in Romans 5 verse 12, we perfectly see that because of Adam's sin, everyone is made a sinner. And you're right, Eddie, because we all come from Adam. We're all born from Adam. You ever got a question, Nora? Yeah, that's a catechism song. Is it really? Mm-hmm. But, okay, Nora, what was the rhyme again for A? In Adam's fall, we sinned all. So, in Adam's fall, we sinned all. And so, this is why we need who? Jesus. We need Jesus, exactly. Who died on the cross for our sins. Right. And that's why it's so important that we are born again and we enter into God's family by adoption through Jesus' death on the cross. And that's where that catechism song that Nora was talking about comes in because it says, Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man and death through sin, in this way death came to all man because all sinned. Mm -hmm. But all whom Christ died for are his, right? Right. So all people... Are born sin, are born sinful, but in Christ we are born again. And made righteous. Eddie, as we finish up here, read for us verse 15 of Romans chapter 5. Okay. But the free gift is not like the trespass. For if many died through one man's trespass, much more have the grace of God and the free gift by the grace of that one man. Jesus Christ abounded for many. Exactly. Just like what mommy was saying, right? Right. All right, kids. We hope that this was helpful and that you really enjoyed this episode as we begin to go through the alphabet of these little rhymes in John Cotton's The New England Primer. Tune in next week as we look at the rhyme for the letter B on another episode of Fathers of the Faith for Covenant Kids. See you next time!